I want to talk about New Year's resolution. It has become that time of year, towards the end of the year, we're in the middle of Christmas and in just a few days 2019 will be here. And we start contemplating what we've done, how our life has been in the, la- in the past year and what we're looking forward to in the coming ones. New beginnings, a new chance to start all over. And we often talk about uh, the things we're supposed to stop doing, which are the bad ones, and the things we're supposed to start doing, which are the ones that are just too much to handle. But for some, it is actually the opportunity for a fresh start. Uh, I often tell people when they say, I'm going to quit smoking uh, on January 1st. And I tell them, how about if you, uh, you know, smoke half of what you're smoking right now? And, you know, start leveling it down. Or instead of jumping into the gym and, and finishing yourself off on January 1st in the evening, you know, go out, take a really long walk, and the next day, hit the gym, do a few exercises, and then slowly build. Slowly build from that. Uh, but that's another good talk. I want to talk about what I'm looking forward to for 2019. I often... Or often uh, in the last in the last year, I've often uh, compare. I've, I've been in situations where I've compared 2017 with 2018, and almost had uh, like guilty conscience because 2018 hasn't lived up to what 2017 was. And 2017 was in many ways a uh, a very cool year with lots of traveling. Uh, I've done traveling this year as well, but not to the extent of what I did then. So I think my main goal for 2017 will be just that travels Uh, I have a set goal to visit uh, another country uh, every month uh, of 2019 and I have a couple of those already sort of set and planned like England Scotland Poland uh, and France but I want to add more to that uh, because for me going abroad uh, whether it be work or vacation it's it's not, I mean, sure, right now I wouldn't mind being somewhere where it's warm and lay on a beach and just relax uh, and kind of gather energy. But most of the time when I travel, uh, I, I want to do things. I want to be active. I want to meet people. I want to, you know, go into whatever culture I am at. Uh, because after one day at the beach, I get restless. So uh, that's one of my big plans for 2019. Uh, And I'm also looking forward to uh, recurring events like Sweden Rock, which is going to be really cool uh, in 2019. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to England with some of my work uh, workmates and also some of my best friends uh, and just kind of enjoy and... And I'm also looking forward to restarting my Swedish channel. Uh, When you are a creative person, Sometimes you get to a point where you're like you're just creating and creating and even though I know that I'm making Progress with myself and I know a lot of people who watch my videos for various reasons the good talk for whatever that is and the 10 Swedish words uh, for the linguistic bits and the language challenge just to see me fail um, But I wanna I want to go deeper into production value and creation um, I obviously did that with the animated video, but I'm not going to do projects like that uh, all the time. So yeah, uh, question to you, what are your New Year's resolutions? What do you hope to achieve in 2019? And how did last year's resolution turn out for you? Did you make any? And if you did, how did it go? Let me know in the comments. And I'm, yes, I'm excited for 2019. I am uh, just in the final phase of editing my annual video and I'm really proud of it. And it also becomes a testament to the fact that 2018 wasn't too bad at all. It wasn't too bad at all. Good talk.